So here we have my logo. I'm going to show you how to mask this out using the uh, channels. But first, I'm going to show you how I used to do it. And when I first started using Photoshop, I used to go here to the magic wand, select the background, delete it, and then just keep on selecting background, delete, delete. I mean, it looks cool. It's not too bad, but you see when you come down to here, um, it didn't get all the uh, the white right there. So the new way that I do it now, just click undo, is using the channels. So let's go here to channels. Since it's a black and white logo, it don't matter if you uh, whatever channel you uh, select. I'm just go ahead and select the red. Duplicate that. Click OK. I'm gonna enable the copy that we made. Disable the red. Now I'm gonna change the logo to white, the background to black, and the reason why is anything that's white. Um, we're going to keep anything that's black is going to be masked out. Now I'm going to hit control L, bring up the levels. And this is just to make sure that the logo is all the way white. By moving that to the left, shadows to the right, just click OK. Now that looks good. Select the RGB, make sure this one's disabled. Go back to layers. Now let's create a new layer. Go here to select, load selection, and we're gonna select the red copy that we created. Click OK. Now if you zoom out, you can see that it made the selection that we uh, created. Disable this so we can see it. Now you can fill it in whatever color you want. I'm just go here, select like a red, click OK. And shortcut to fill it in, Alt Backspace, Control D to deselect. Now, when you zoom in, you can see that look has a clean uh, removal of the uh, background. And now, see the zoom out. Now, since we got a clean uh, cropping out of the logo, you just go here, just double click double click and you can add whatever um, blending mode you want and that don't look good but <laughs> this is just a tutorial on how to remove the background but yeah you can go in here you know you can do whatever with it since we got a clean uh, crop out of it just cancel that all right so now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a not a solid background so something like this so same way just go to channels but this time it does matter what uh channel you select we're just looking for the one that's um has the most contrast so here's red green blue so this one will be red right click make a copy click ok and make sure this is the only one that's enabled everything else is disabled so i'm gonna hit Control L, bring up the levels. So same thing. We want to bring the uh, the left slider all the way to not all the way, but to the right, about right there. So the background is uh, solid black, and then this slider to the left. So the logo is solid white. Let's click OK. That looks good. Now let's enable the RGB. Make sure that's disabled. Go back to layers. Select the new layer, go here, select, load selection, and we're going to select the uh, new one we created. Click OK. It's going to do the same thing, make a selection. Now you can choose whatever color you want to uh, choose. Do a uh, light green for now. Alt backspace, shortcut to fill it in. Control D to select. Now, so basically same thing, clean crop out, backgrounds remove, same thing, you could uh, double click and add whatever uh, layer style you want to um, add. 